Hey folks, Tony Lockhart in this video. And in the previous, we talked about different types of selections um, for the purpose of um, filling for painting. So you can kind of see, um, you know, I've got uh, got one layer that I made a, I didn't make a selection for, but I filled everything up and went back and erased. Um, I've got the headband that's over here. I made a selection and filled that. And then I've also got the headphones right there. So why do we do this? What's the point? And what I'd like to do is to show you these things uh, called blend modes. And then also there's a really cool um, technique or tool called clipping masks um, that are super helpful. So this is one of a bunch of ways to mask if you're using Procreate or you know something like Photoshop. But let's just go and let's add a shadow and a highlight on top of these headphones. Okay. So um, first things first, I'm going to go and isolate that headphone uh, layer. Okay, so now that I know where that is and it's covered with some kind of pixels, what I'll do is I'm going to put a new layer on top. I'm going to right click that layer and I'm going to create a clipping mask. So what that does is it clips whatever artwork I have on this layer one to the one that's directly below it. So you can kind of see, I'm going to just uh, press B for brush and just just draw all over the place, get crazy. And you could see that it only showed up in the layer where there was pixel information from the layer below. I'm gonna go in, let me hide all this other stuff. Let's release this clipping mask. And you could see, this is the big scribble that I put underneath it. Um, so if I kind of turn that off and I put the headphones back on, um, you can see that this is going to be directly over the clipping mask or the, the layer that I wanted to clip to. So again, right click the layer that's on top, make a clipping mask, and then you're all set. Now I'm going to go, uh, let's reveal all the other stuff. And where's my line art? There we go. And what I want to do is let me just, uh, I'm going to delete this layer and let me just start over again the proper way. And so I'll right click, create a clipping mask probably drop the opacity down to like 50 or 60 so I have some control. I'm also going to use this thing called multiply. Now by using a multiply layer, I'm going to be able to go in and drop some kind of a shadow because what happens is with a multiply layer, it allows um, all of the dark colored pixels to show through, all of the light colored pixels to be affected by this color. So if I go back and erase, you can kind of see that the dark stays exactly where it is, the light colored stuff um, is still there. Now let's keep in mind also that I've got this clipping mask on so I can go back in and kind of adjust accordingly, okay? Now let me just erase some of this because maybe I wanna have a light source that's on the left side and it's gonna cast a shadow just underneath. Um, another really cool technique is to go back and make adjustments to your opacity because it gives you further control. Another thing that I really like about using clipping masks, which is kind of like painting in a selection, you can go and find some other kind of a brush and you could just kind of paint on top of it. And you can also modify attributes of the brush. So you can make it a soft brush, you know, and you can add color to it. Um, so you can start to see there's a little bit of red that's affecting the green that I have um, that's on top. Okay, so let's go and let's add and you know double click this and call this something so you know what it is. So I'm going to call this um, headphone clip mask or clip um, artwork. You can call these things whatever you want. Okay, let's go to the headband now. So again, I'm going to select on the headband. Let's hit that new layer button above it. Let's right click and create a clipping mask. And then of course, uh, I'm gonna adjust the opacity. And I can do a lot of fun stuff. So what I would recommend is that you go and have some fun and maybe paint something on a layer and then go and experiment and click around and see what happens with all of these different types of um, masks. So let's just go for a lighten layer. And let's see if I can just choose a nice color. Let's see if I can. Get some, get some light color right on top. Maybe get some yellow. And then remember I said about going and doing some adjustments and just to experiment. So it's kind of hard to see right now because of the color choice that I made. 
um, the type of a light color that I have right here and the fact that I have a light green that's underneath. But one way you could do that is to toggle the visibility on and off in your layer. So just kind of go and click back and forth so it turns it on and off. You can also go back and readjust the opacity to make it full. So you could see some of the white and some of the yellow that I put on top of it. But then also you can go back and just do other adjustments. And after you, um, you know, there are times where you can actually go and use the arrow keys that are on your keyboard to kind of click, 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 click and adjust um, very quickly. I found that I really like to use multiply a lot when I'm doing coloring. Um, a lot of times I'll use a screen and that's kind of it. You know, I'll do, I'll do one layer just as a local color, then I'll do a multiply layer as a shadow layer and I'll do a screen as a light layer. There's a million different ways to do this. There's no one right way. There's none of them are wrong. It, it all depends on, you know, what you want to do and how your workflow works. Okay, let me just do one last clipping mask that's on top of this other one. You can do multiple clipping masks. So maybe if I have a highlight layer, I can also double click this one right above it and call it a shadow layer. And you know, it's just a nice way to work because again, it isolates everything. So in the shadow layer, let's turn this on to multiply. Let's pick a nice dark gray color. And then let's just start coloring in. Whoops, you get a different brush. You just start to color in, make it a little bit bigger of a brush. Oops. Go. And there we go. And if it's too strong, then I could just drop the opacity because then I can make some some different types of adjustments and have some more control over how I want it to affect um, the thing that's over there. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Um, give this a try. Um, go back, watch the previous video so you know how to make a selection so you could fill the area with some color. After that, try some clipping masks. Try to mess with the opacity. Try to mess with the blend modes and then use those as a way to add some depth to your characters um, with the way you draw. All right, guys. Hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one.